Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have a little bit of fun with Chanel Classic Lipsticks. So you guys, I am a huge fan of the Chanel Rouge Cocoa Lipsticks. These are the ultra moisturizing kind of classic Chanel lipsticks. Of course, the cases are absolutely beautiful, but the lipsticks have been a long time favorite and I have been wearing these lipsticks for many, many years. I recently picked up Adrian again and kind of fell in love with this formula of lipstick and I thought it would be fun to kind of show you my top six classic Chanel Rouge Cocoa lipsticks today. So if you're interested in learning about the classic Rouge Coco lipsticks in six different classic shades, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the very first Chanel lipstick that I bought was in Mademoiselle. That is number 434. So Mademoiselle is just a classic color Oftentimes when you go to the Chanel counter, they are going to recommend Mademoiselle. So we'll put that on in a minute, but that was my very first entree into, into the Rouge Coco line. This formulation is super creamy. It is shiny and they're just really lovely to wear. Now, I recently picked up an oldie but a goodie, and this is in Adrian. So again, you guys, I had picked this up way back when. Um, this was again one that I picked up because Jennifer Aniston wore it at either the Oscars or Grammys or something like that. And of course, I wanted to be like Jennifer. And this is like your perfect nude, you guys. This one does not necessarily wash me out. It has enough color, but when you're looking for that kind of nude that is leaning towards a little bit of a peach tone, this is going to be the one that you are looking for. Now, I don't tend to usually go towards the peaches. I'm someone who really loves those kind of mauve berry shades, but this one is an exception. I just think it is gorgeous. And let's go ahead. And here is the shade Adrian classic perfect nude. Again, this is pretty much a universal kind of shade on lips that are a little bit more pigmented. It looks really pretty because it's just going to give you that light shine. For some of us with not as pigmented lips, it is just going to give you a little bit of a lift to the lip. I just love this because you're always looking for that perfect kind of nude, but those can tend to wash me out. And I found that Adrian did not do that. So this is described as a moderately warm toned, medium dark, peach, just gorgeous, and a definite classic. Now, I also learned that this is being relaunched or kind of launched with the new fall 2020 Chanel collection. So I'm so excited because I was ahead of the game. I just picked this up recently, not knowing that. <laughs> and this is Cecile. So you guys, this one is right up my alley. Such a gorgeous tone. And again, these first two are on the lighter tone. So we've got Adrian, and then we've got Cecile. So as you can see, Cecile is going to be leaning more on that cool pink side, and it's described as a soft rosewood. It's a muted medium rosy pink with warm undertones and a soft frosted shimmer sheen. This one is sort of semi-opaque and I just love it as a day-to-day -day kind of easy shade. And this is Cecile. So both of these are kind of like my everyday easy kind of lighter toned kind of go-to. So again, if you're looking for something more in that peach toned, I'd go for Adrian. If you're looking for something with a little bit more pink, more of a soft muted rose, I would go for Cecile. These are two favorite favorites. Okay, the next one is for my sort of pink coral lovers. 
This is not usually in my wheelhouse, but this is a classic from Chanel and this is Legend. So this is the shade right here. And this is the shade that my mom would wear. So anytime I do wear this kind of more intense pink. It reminds me of my mom. So this legend is described as an intense satin pink. It's a medium muted pink coral with warm rosy red tones and lighter pinkish white shimmer that gives it a more frosted finish. So I think that might be why this reminds me of my mom because I don't know about you guys but growing up she always kind of wore this kind of pink frosted color. I'm not sure what possessed me to get this. I think I was on the hunt for a really good kind of pink coral and this one is really pretty. This is one of their classic ones and if you are going to the counter and you're asking for sort of a pink shade they often recommend Legend. Now, although Legend isn't something that I pick up all the time, I do find that that pink will kind of liven up my complexion. And I did want to point that that is a classic Chanel, especially for you kind of pink coral lovers. I think you will really like that one. Now, the th next three that I'm going to show you are going to be a little bit similar. So we have Mademoiselle, Maggie and Suzanne. And there is enough difference to own all three, but I did want to let you know. Now there is variations between the three, but this might be helpful if you're only wanting to pick one classic. I'm going to go through a little bit of the differences. We're going to start with Mademoiselle. As I said, this was my very first purchase of lipstick. So again, this classic lipstick pays homage to Coco Chanel and it is described as a warm rosewood, a kind of muted medium dark rosy pink with a warm plummy brown undertone. It has a little soft shimmer finish that's lightly luminous. So this one is just a classic. Again, if you go to the counter, this might be the very first one that they'll recommend. Just kind of looking for that classic kind of mauve plummy kind of color. So gonna... all of these lipsticks are creamy, easy to use, and you will find that these are less slippy than the Rouge Coco Flash. They used to be called the Rouge Coco Shines. And again, I love that formula because it's more of a hybrid kind of lipstick and a gloss. These would be considered more traditional, but I love this because it's going to give my lips a little bit of shine and it's just so easy to wear. I consider this a very Abbey shade. I probably own a ton of shades similar to this color, but this is Mademoiselle. And then we've got Maggie and Suzanne. So these are going to be just a touch darker than Mademoiselle. And these are still going to be in that kind of plummy kind of tone. You do not need both of these. So I'll show you the difference, but I have to say I do love having them. So we're going to start with Maggie. And here is what Maggie looks like swatched. It's described as a shimmering rosewood. It's muted medium dark pink plum with warmer gold shimmer. It's a semi sheer color payoff that covers evenly but lets your true lips shine through as well. So the difference between Suzanne and Maggie to me is that this one's got a little bit of a shimmer in it. So if I'm wanting my lips to have like a little bit more oomph, I really enjoy Maggie because it's got that little bit of shimmer in it. Then last but not least, we have Suzanne. So you guys, here's the last three right here. So we've got Mademoiselle, Maggie, 
and then we've got Suzanne. So you can see Suzanne is definitely deeper in tone, but often, often Maggie or Suzanne are the ones that are compared to. So Suzanne is described as a moderately warm tone, medium plum with a pearl finish. So Suzanne just looks fabulous on the lips. And this is Suzanne. So as you can see, Suzanne doesn't quite have as much shimmer as I feel like Maggie does, but I find that Maggie is a little bit more plum based. And then Mademoiselle is like your just classic day to day. It's not overly shimmery and it's just fantastic. So, so to me, there is a reason to own all of these, but that is because I love this formula and these are all classic shades. So in conclusion, if you are just diving in and you want to get pick up one classic sort of Chanel lipstick, I always say go for Mademoiselle. That one just seems to look great on everybody. Anybody that I've recommended it to, they have loved it. So that's just kind of your classic rose tone. And it's just a beautiful everyday, kind of your lips, but a little bit better. Now, if you're someone who likes more of a sheer or the lighter tones, I say if you like more warm tones, go with Adrian. It is such a classic nude. Um, otherwise, if you like a little bit more of the cool kind of rosy pink tones, then I say go with Cecile. So here's Adrian. Then we've got Cecile. Then we've got Legend, Mademoiselle, Maggie and then Suzanne. So to me, Suzanne's kind of my perfect, a little bit more bold lipstick, but very wearable. And then Suzanne is sort of like my perfect little bit bolder lipstick. And I love to just wear this with a real simple eye and then I'll put Suzanne on. It is such a great shade. I just love it. So again, I'm someone who loves a little bit more of those kind of pink, mauve tones, but they also have another one called Antoinette that would be one step up from Adrian, and I do love that and I've owned that in the past. So again, Antoinette is gonna be a little bit more in that warm kind of peach caramel tones. Um, I just tend to go for those mauves and berry shades. So you guys, those are my top six classic shades. Honestly, I think there's something for everyone in these top six picks. But of course, I'd love to know what your favorite color is because in that shade range, I feel like all of them are pretty classic and I always enjoy picking up a little Chanel goodie. So these are my top six picks for the Chanel Rouge Coco lipsticks. I also was asked if I would share my Rouge Coco flashes with you. And of course I said, yes. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.